Hey guys, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I've got the uh, DJI Mini 2 with me today, and we are going to go to the top of the chairlift, the Deer Point Express at Bogus Basin. Should be fun. How you doing? I was paying attention to the sign. Wait for attendant. I appreciate that. All right. Just, uh, Just step out onto the yellow line and okay. Wait for this one. There you go. And you just pull that bar down. Yep. Got it. Okay, here we go. Uh, got the restraint device down. It was a little, I was a little unsure how it all worked, but uh, they helped me out here. So look, they got these specials so you can take a mountain bike up to the top. And so I'm sure there's a lot of people that go up here and mountain bike down. So uh, yeah, nothing but fun. A lot of stuff here. They got little uh, areas for the kids to, I'm sure, probably ski down, I don't know. So needless to say, we will be riding down. I won't be walking down from the top. <laughs> uh, but this should be fun. Should be a great place to, uh, to get some drone footage. Let's kind of pan around here and we'll see that on the way down, but that's where we came from right there. And I believe those are TV antennas at the top. I'm sure part of it's uh, cell service, etc. But I'm definitely uh, I'm hanging on to the drone pretty tight. And you can see some hikers there just walking their way down the down the mountain. But uh, I think I'll decline to do that today because of time. Mostly it'd be fun, but uh, I think today I'm a little bit time limited. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, so if I get up here and fly, by the time I, you know, get heading down the mountain, it'd probably be five o'clock. So I will be back down in Boise just uh, just in time for the uh, return to home uh, traffic from folks at work. Their commute. Been a lot of year, a couple of years since I've had to deal with that. Pretty cool. I asked Sarah to come up here with me today, uh, but she declined. She had some other things she wanted to do. And I didn't know I was gonna do this, quite frankly. Uh, so she may wish that she, uh, may wish that she had. Just kind of pan around here and get you a look. And like I said, we're gonna fly the, uh, we're gonna fly the Mini 2 from the top. So we should get some pretty good looks at the mountain here. You can see how in the wintertime, uh, there's a lot of good skiing here. I don't know how far off the ground I am here, but it's not that far. Although, I said it's not that far, but I sure as hell wouldn't want to drop, I'll, <laughs> that's for sure. What fun. I'm looking at those plants down there, and I'm not sure what that is. I think when I was a kid we called that skunk cabbage, but I don't know for certain. I'm sure somebody in the, uh, in the comments can tell me exactly what that is. So, looks like we're nearing the top here. I see a bunch of raptors there flying around the, uh, the radio towers. Yeah, kind of cool here uh, 
Yeah, and I see another couple on their way back down there. I can see the top of the lift where we'll get off, so. So we'll get up here and we'll do a quick uh, flyabout with the, uh, with the Mini 2, the DJI Mini 2. Now I'm not going to have my uh, tripod with me. I didn't bring the tripod, so uh, I probably won't get much GoPro footage of the flight, but I'll just set the camera someplace uh, where I can use it to record audio. Hey folks. So, you know, I'm looking at the top here. Look, they got a big, uh, I don't know what, you know, what you would call that, a power station or whatever for the, for the radio towers. And then I can see also at the top there a, uh, a ski patrol uh, station. As I said, pretty smooth ride. Howdy. I've only seen one mountain biker go up here today, or, you know, since I've been up here, which isn't very long, but I'm sure there's probably days that there's a ton of them, but uh, I think it's pretty cool that you can you, you ride up your, with your mountain bike and then, uh, and then ride down, I, but that would take some courage. I had a friend of mine do that one time, and uh, he said it was pretty brutal. You know, he didn't know what he was doing. He just knew he could ride a bicycle. He rented a mountain bike, went to the top of one of these ski resort things, and uh, he said, yeah, it was all he could do to get to the bottom. <laughs> said it was bumpy as all get out. Boy, look at all those wires heading up to those towers. That's uh, pretty significant. Probably every cell phone company and everything else. Yeah, speaking of mountain bikers, look at here's the guy that I saw getting on. He's going right now. And as we approach the station, uh, I'm sure, I hope, that she'll stop it for us. But we'll see. Thank you. Okay, so we ought to be able to find, I'm thinking, a uh, shady spot where we can launch the drone from. So I'm just going to hold the camera up here so you guys can get a view. Check it out. That's Boise down there. Okay, let's put the drone in the air. Okay, I found a spot here where I can uh, stand in the shade a little bit and launch the drone, so, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm ready to launch here, uh, so I'm just gonna set the, uh, the GoPro down and it'll record audio and I'm gonna go out and launch the drone. Okay, so the drone is giving us a high altitude warning. I'm gonna remember to start recording this time. Uh, so recording has started. And it's got the home point, uh, so uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take off. So the drone just takes off just a few feet. We can go straight up here and give you a view. I'm going to get in the shade with my phone so you can see here, but, uh, but you saw where we were at here uh, when I took some pictures with the GoPro, so let's go straight forward. And I see some birds that don't care for this drone, but that's all right. They're not going to hurt anything. So here we are. Uh, and I'm going to do a quick yaw around here so you can kind of get the lay of the land and see where I got off of the, uh, of the lift at. So I'm trying to remember the name of that ski lift. I think it was Deer Point Ski Lift. I think it said. 
And we're in the Boise Mountains now. So that's looking off probably about towards Idaho City. And there's a cell tower. We're going to stay well away from all the cell towers. And, uh, and you can see uh, the lift there. So uh, pretty cool. That's what we came up. So, so let's go ahead and get some more altitude. And uh, we're going to get well away from this stuff. I want to be above all the uh, all the towers and everything that are here, and you can see some other towers there, on the top of the uh, on the top of that next mountain. I I think that's Schaefer Butte, but all the Boise people are going to laugh at me if I'm wrong there. Uh, but there is the uh, ski resort itself, and let's go up. I want to get uh, I want to get well. We're pretty darn high, so. You know, I, I, you know, in theory, we could legally go above those towers, but, uh, but I don't want to fly that high up here. We're plenty high as it is, but uh, in any case, uh, just doing kind of a slow yaw around here so you can kind of take a look at it. When I decided to come up here today, uh, I didn't intend to ride the ski lift to the top here, but when I found out that it was possible, that you could do it, I thought, well, what the heck? So I uh, decided to give it a shot. Okay, let's move forward here a little. And I'm kind of, I'm not going to go very far here because we are a little bit blocked by terrain. Let's get some more altitude. We might as well go up to, uh, yeah, max legal, close, 117 meters. 120 meters is uh, is max legal, and that's Bogus Basin Road there. I showed that on an earlier video uh, when we were at the Stack Rock uh, uh, Trailhead, and we had an issue when we were out there uh, where we uh, lost uh, FPV or FPV froze up on us. I've never had that happen with a DJI drone before, so it was kind of interesting, but uh, we're solid here. Let's go the other direction here. This is kind of east here we're headed. Yeah, well, looks like we got close to that 120 meters. I must have been hitting up on that stick, so gave us a warning. I dropped it back down, which is good. Or even the wind can knock you up sometimes. It can, uh, you know, send you a little higher in altitude. So we're not going to go any further out than that. That's about the limit. Oh boy, look at you see that bird taking a swipe at the drone. He's going, what are you doing in my territory? And boy, even here, I'm in the shade and my, uh, my phone is heating up enough. It's a fairly warm day that it, my, uh, my screen is dimming just a little. Okay, I'm getting off of that forward stick because I just don't want to go any further out than that. And let's come back around and point back towards us. And I was going uh, inadvertently. That was interesting. So as I was yawing around, you saw me descending. And uh, that could have been disaster because I, I'll be honest with you, I just I was so focused on the yaw, I didn't see it. And evidently, I had that stick pulled down a little bit. Yeah, lesson learned there. So this is back towards where we're at, and let's do an overflight and come right back towards us. And and we're I'm gonna that's me picking the gimbal up, and we're faced essentially northwest right now. And like I said, with these uh, radio towers and everything here, I don't think there's much chance of a return to home or something that we could fly into one, but I'm not going to take that chance. We're going to stay well away from them. 
And as we come back over here, we're going to drop the gimbal down a little bit so you can see. And let's, uh, let's kind of arc around here. And that's me trying to do a little bit of an orbit there. Top of the mountain. How cool is that? And it is giving us that fly with caution because we are at a high altitude. And, and what they mean by that is obviously the air is thinner, so your props aren't going to be as effective in thinner air. So I'm going to move to the side so we don't go straight over the top of those towers. And uh, Maybe we can kind of fly off down and take a look at uh, at the uh, at the lift here as it comes over the top. And there, my screen just brightened up a little bit for me there. So evidently, we cooled it off enough that that worked. And again, we're uh, we're pretty high up there. I want to make sure I'm well out of the way of this stuff. And there's that lift right there. And that'll kind of give you the, a shot at uh, all the uh, all the cars coming up the lift. And we're going to stay at a pretty high altitude because obviously I don't want to have any issues with terrain or anything. So we're uh, we're going to err on the side of uh, of caution here. But that's that's the whole lift line that uh, that we came up. And that's the ski resort right there. Okay, let's see if we can rotate around again. And just kind of give you a panoramic look of, uh, of the mountain here. Boy, this is a lot of fun, man, I'm telling you. Is this cool or what? This is like uh, this is like drone heaven. So now you know I'd, I'd like to kind of fly off that direction, but I'm not going to fly behind those uh, towers because I just uh, I just want to make sure that there there are nothing that that uh, that can cause us any grief or cause them any grief. So we're going to stand well away from them. Pick the gimbal back up here. Get a little closer to that rule of thirds, and I see some mountain bikers. You're, yeah, you're going to see them on the screen there, heading down the hill. Pretty cool. Those guys have to love that man. That must. I'm sure that's a riot. As a younger man, if I was a younger man, that's something I might have tried, but certainly not at my age now. And let's go back and take another look uh, down the mountain here. So now we're kind of faced, I guess you'd call it southwest. Yeah, southwest. Ooh, we're, we're too high here. Let me drop some altitude. Man, I'll tell you what, it is easy to, uh, it is easy when you're on that stick to, uh, to gain too much altitude. That's why I typically, I limit it so that I can't accidentally do that. But we did, we got a few meters above there. But the reason that I have moved it up is up in the mountains here, if you got behind terrain or something, you want to give yourself the latitude to be able to fly over that terrain, which by the way, if you were in an emergency situation, is perfectly legal. And, you know, obviously if you're flying up over the top of, of a mountain, uh, you know, and you're within, you know, 10 meters or so at the top of the mountain, you're, you're not any kind of a hazard to, uh, 
to any kind of uh, air navigation. And again, so this is facing, uh, would be northeast. And I can't tell on my FPV screen, but I believe that is right about where Idaho City is. It's a little town in the mountains there. And we're not, I'm going to get off the stick because I don't want to go any further out than that. So I realize I'm kind of flying in circles here, but, uh, but there's just, it's just so breathtaking. There's so much to look at. And I'm looking at it on a little FPV screen. So when we get this thing on the, uh, uh, off the SD card, I'm sure uh, that it's going to look even better. I was pretty tickled, so when I got up to the resort, I, I asked, you know, I saw that they were, that they had the, the, uh, the lift open, and I asked them, I said, well, is it okay to take a drone? And she said, yeah. So, uh, well, I went back to the car and grabbed the little Mini 2 and off to the races. All right, we are down to 50% battery. I'd say discretion is the better part of valor. Let's, uh, let's bring this baby back to us. Haha, uh -huh, I said baby back. Yeah, I'm sure those towers are probably every TV station in Boise and radio station and, you know, cell phone company and everything else because this is the perfect spot for it. And here we are right here. You know, I'm thinking about how to approach this. And I'm just making sure there are no wires or anything in our way. If it looks like I'm being uh, extra careful, that's because I am. The thing is, what you have to understand is on, when you're looking at your little FPV screen, it is really easy to, uh, to miss a wire or something, but uh, yeah, I got eyes on the drone. It's no problem. Pick that gimbal back up so you can see a little bit. And you can see me standing right under that tree. Let's just bring it in. We can bring it in low here. Boy, those birds don't like that drone. I'll tell you that. There's a bunch of swallows that are flying around it. And they are making their presence known. They do not like that little guy. So I'm debating as to whether to try a, uh, a hand landing here, but uh, you guys uh, have seen me do hand landings before and they haven't worked out, but uh, this might be just an opportunity to do it. So I was faced the drone away from me and uh, I'm going to see if I can... There, we were successful. Turn it around and face me there. So if I looked like I was nervous there, that's because I was. I, my depth perception isn't really good. Uh, and so trying to do the hand landings is just not as easy for me as it is uh, for some people. But, uh, but in any case, that one turned out fine. I just landed it right in my hand. So uh, let me shut off recording and get it shut down. Okay, so I got the, uh, the drone put away. And we're going to walk right back to the uh, lift here and head on down the mountain. Okay, let's get back on the lift. How you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Not too bad. Do you need to scan me or? 
Uh, you're good. Oh, uh, so I can just climb on? Yeah, I'll have you wait for this. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. You're good to hop out on that yellow line. And just oh, this? Pull that safety bar down. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're good to hop out. Okay, we're back on the lift. Heading back down the mountain. And there's a mountain biker heading down the hill. Pretty cool. I'll get you another shot. I think I can get you a better shot now of all the... Uh, I mean, look at those wires going into that tower. There's got to be a, yeah, look at that. There's a big diesel generator in that one building on the uh, right. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of power going into these towers. So we got a nice, look at this family going up. Howdy. I'll tell you, one of the cool things about Idaho, it had a big bug on me. One of the really cool things about Idaho is all of the family uh, centered activities there are, just tons of it. Look at this view. This is normally the kind of view you only get with a drone, right? So we are probably, we're heading essentially due west right now. And I see there's a sign there that would normally be for the ski run, I suppose. Oh yeah. And it, you know, I... Something, something Mojo, Lando's Mojo it says. And then it says Ridge, so yeah, name of the run. Oh, this, is, this has been awesome. Nothing but fun. And I'm pretty sure there's even lifts that go down the other side of the mountain. I, don't, don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. In fact, if I can find a map of the ski area, I will put it on the screen uh, at, the, at the end of the video here. But look at, they, I know they do a lot of, you've seen me take pictures before down below of the night skiing. Look, there's all the lights that they use when they do night skiing. And this place really lights up. You can see it. I can see it from my house. You know, you can see all the lights when they do that night skiing. And then I don't know if you can see it down there at the resort. They have one of those uh, bobsled tracked bobsled rides that you ride up and ride. You can ride back down. Definitely gonna have to try that one of these days. And they got a, just a ton of activities for kids and so forth. And you can see the parking lot down there. I'm parked in that lot, and it's kind of thinned out. It was uh, it was a lot more full than that when I pulled in. But look at down in that ravine. If you're a skier, I don't think you'd want to get way down in the bottom of that. Sean Oz, this one's for you. You need to you need to get up here uh, with your snowboard next winter and uh, and do some snowboarding. So what that little uh, station there is for, I have no idea. But here we are. There's a picture of how this thing works and the cable that my life depends upon right now. <laughs> and some more lights for the night skiing. And I'm looking down there at the very bottom. I don't know if you can see. If you look down by the track, you can see some mountain bikers just getting to the bottom. And then I see a bobsledder coming around that corner.
And there's a lot of folks still heading to the top of the mountain. Howdy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is fun. What, you know, what a cool thing for families. Is that cool or what? <laughs> That's just so cool. They got the whole family. Uh, and then, so let's see, I'm looking off over here uh, to our left a little bit, and that is a tubing hill right there that you can ride up. And I know a lot of people come up here in the winter just to, just to go tubing, right? They bring their kids and, and go tubing. And I'm seeing a reservoir or something down there. I am not familiar with that. Don't know what it is. I see another, li there's another lift right there. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, there's another lift uh, down there as well that goes up this hill. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some, if you go up there, I'm pretty sure there's some that go down, uh, that there's lifts from the other side. So I think you can ski down the other side, take a lift back up and then ski back down this side. And this, this is a shorter hill. That must be like the bunny hill for learning how to ski. If you look, I'm, look, I'm looking at that, uh, at that lift on the very end there. Yeah, I'm quite sure that must be part of a bunny hill. And that's the lodge right there. It's closed, of course, this time of year because there's not a lot of people, but people buy year round ski passes up here. I think it's pretty reasonable. I mean, it, Again, I'd have to look it up, but I think it's around 150 bucks for a year-round ski pass. And if you think about that, if you live in Boise, and this is literally 45 minutes from downtown Boise, you know, you could definitely get your money's worth uh, going skiing uh, four or five times a year. Look at the trampolines they got set up for the kids. Eh, pretty cool. And my ears just popped as we got lower in elevation here. And there's, uh, you see that kind of uh, moving sidewalk or whatever you want to call it? That's how you get to the top for that bobsled run. So the bobsleds, you get in and it rides to the top and then you, you uh, ride down on that curly Q track there. And let's see if we can get a picture of, yeah, there's one coming right now, coming around the corner. Hopefully you'll get to see it before we get blocked by the uh, tower here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there, see that, he's on a tubing hill, cool. That's pretty cool. How cool is this, huh? You gotta love it. Prepare to unload. So I guess we will. Thank you, sir. Yep. Oh, they're running the other lift. I guess you could go up the other side too. I didn't. I didn't see that earlier. Just kind of give you a look around the uh, where the lodge area is here, and we'll take one more look up at the lift that we just went up. And look here, we got some uh, tubers coming down the hill. Doesn't go too fast. Keeps them in line. And in the winter, I'll bet that's a lot more fun. Yeah, for some reason, I just noticed that our aspect ratio had changed on the GoPro. So I don't know. We'll see how the recording looks when I get home. I might have to flip it around in post-production. But, uh, but in any case, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, this little trip up to uh, Bogus Space. And I had a blast going to the top and flying the little DJI uh, Mini 2. Phenomenal little drone. Uh, it was great. So uh, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, so yeah, the little uh, DJI Mini 2 uh, at the Bogus Basin Ski Resort. See you guys later. Bye now.